Hello and welcome back to Fear 2. We were, uh, what, waiting on Cortana, weren't we, last time? Hello, Cortana. Do you like my big zappy laser gun? Man, it's good to see you. Oh, hey. It's I only... Know if you'd make it. Well, I didn't think we were gonna make it. Well, it's only been, like, 20 minutes. Or it hasn't been that long. You know? Not the... I'm here to judge or anything. You know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fine, whatever. We'll just go up and lift. Beep. So, uh... How things with you? I hope it's not one of those horror movie things where she reads your mind and uses your deepest fears against you. Bzzz. Okay. I'm sure she won't. Whatever Don't worry. Happens, I just want you to know. Nobody else could have done what you did today, Bucket. If we get out of this, it's because of you. Oh god, you are so doomed. Your ass is so doomed. Like, if there was any asses in here that were more doomed than yours, yours would still be the most more doomed. <coughs> you shouldn't do things like that. You might as well say it's my last day today, Beckett. I'm retiring today, Beckett. I hope nothing bad happens to me. Whoop, 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 whoop. And then, of course, something bad happens to you. And we all feel fucking <laughs> terrible! Let's get this over with. Yeah, right, that's fine. Alright, so we've returned to Fear 2, and of course, we're in this weird looking facility. It looks really old and shit, because, I don't know, why not? Something about a cooling system. Weird. What, you ain't on me? Fine. And we're back in Alma's secret headquarters, or something. Go ahead and cycle the airlock. Sure. I'll push the button. I hope you haven't got earache or anything, otherwise this already hurt. Just a heads up. What? What's the problem? You alright? You alright there? You alright? It's a big gun. Oh, sorry, I thought that small talk was completely wasted. Once we're inside, I'll need to make sure everything's set up the way Snake Fist indicated in his notes. While I'm doing that, you can power up the amplifier. Can we stop calling him Snake Fist, please? It's it's really irritating. Like, I know he's dead and we shouldn't speak of the dead, but he was an idiot. That's why he died. It's like, hey, I'm an idiot, please kill me. And then this man killed him. Uh, by the way, here you go. Uh, if, I'll scroll through slightly slower for you so you can read. Oh good, we get to cycle more airlocks. Yeah, th thank you, I like you, you're alright. I hope you don't get done in. I'm sure you will though. Stand clear of the doors. I refuse! I stand next to the door. <laughs> yeah, fight the man. Well, it's another kind of environment full of... Uh... Oh, well that's kind of cool. Don't you think? Maybe it's just me. Do you think this looks safe, or am I going to be sterile after this? I'm worried this thing's going to zap my balls. Seriously, this is the worry I have. Have you not seen that thing? It's like full of radiation and zappy. Oh, well you, you got nothing to worry about. It's like you don't have any balls or anything. Jeez. If my balls get zapped and yours don't, I'm gonna be upset. Beep. Why do we need three switches to extend the bridge? Okay, um... Am I the one seeing this because I'm slightly more psychic? Neat. Get in the chair. Hello. What's wrong with you? We have to stop Alma. That's exactly what I intend to do. Oh, okay. But Beckett's not strong enough without the amplifier. She'll absorb him. She looks a bit wounded. And then we'll lock them away. Wait, what? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Without Alma. I don't have any leverage. Without leverage, I don't have a future. Do a future? Look at yourself. You're done in. I believe this. The city's Ooh, look, a my smoldering legs. ruin, and you're worried legs. about your fucking resume. Oh, sorry. Listen. No, you listen. We're doing this Halberd's way. We're gonna kill this bitch. Oh. I'm sorry it came to this. I really am. I'm not a bad person. I just don't have a choice. Wow, it's a shame that body armor was just for show. Destiny, Sergeant Beckett. Let's not keep her waiting. Uh, I've met Destiny. She's kind of scrawny for my liking, actually. Can I meet another girl? Oh no, she seemed nice. Oh well, she's got a little less scrawny this time. Like, all right, Destiny, so how you doing? Uh oh. I've seen this scene before in Silent Hill. It's pretty. Wait, no, 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 not that one. Oh, hello. All right, now, well, does this look lovely? Ooh, gotta reactivate, uh, reactivate this thing, I think. Just gonna... 
Because you're grizzly as fuck. Go away. Ooh. Hello. No. Okay. So this gathered a lot of negative and interesting press when this came out, especially this ending part here. I have my own thoughts on the matter, and I'm going to, quite frankly, leave them. Leave them exactly as that. I'm just going to say I don't like this ending at all, but we'll leave it as there, and we'll continue with the funnies instead. Beep! Pull switch. Receive Grizzly Man. Well, you look like a teapot that's been left on the kettle for too long, so go away. <laughs> oh, wow, what a dick. Like, he daps as one that stands on our hand. Mm, yeah, just for that, man. Cheers. There isn't a lot to this empire, though. We just kind of shoot the uh, Grizzly Man ghosts, Keegan ghosts, and then sort of leave. That's that. <laughs> Beep. Let me get sucker punched a few times. She doesn't want you, dude. Seriously. Someone's left you in the fridge too long. So that. Ooh. And this is the last one, believe it or not. And weirdly, it checkpoints you all through this. Neither it's particularly difficult nor like at all challenging. The only cool thing about this is you get to see how I assume how Beckett actually moves, which is where that like sort of shimmery runny thing there where it's I'm guessing that's how the other people see us moving, or the reflexes and stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyway. Uh nope. Don't think so. I'm gonna help you, Grizzly Teapot Man! shiny lights. Hooray! And that's it. We've basically... That's the last thing we control in Fear 2. Oh! Well, actually, I lie. I can move my things around. Who else think this make like a good horror movie ride? Uh, a theme park. Close your eyes. Suddenly fire. Ghost girl. Preferably not this bit, though. Hmm. Presented without comment. And that's Fear 2, ladies and gentlemen. I actually originally did that section with a few of my own extra thoughts in there. I didn't like it, it didn't come out particularly entertaining, and just came off a bit of a rant, so I'm gonna leave it at that, I think. Um, and thus ends a fantastic game with an incredibly piss poor ending. So, I I think Fear 2 is a brilliant game. I think generally it holds up very, very well. Uh, it has great gunplay. If a few slight negative points here and there, it's the fact there's not many baddies and all the locations are kind of grey and boring looking. But that's pretty much Fear in a nutshell. The first one was like that as well. And I can't really hold this game against it, that the fact that sequels absolutely wank. Sadly. Man, that was a bad game. Jeez. Either way, for those on the edge and haven't got bored of it, watching me play through this, then Fear 2 is worth picking up. It's really good. And uh, barring the ending, it's a fantastic game. It really is. Uh, thank you very much for watching the LP. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. And I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Which has already started, kind of. Anyway, toodles guys. <laughs>